What's up guys, welcome back to our Dark Aether grind here on my second account and in our last video our top comment was from OT saying he wants to get the DMR done on Firebase C. So that's what we'll be doing today. Also, if you want to leave a suggestion for what weapon you want to see me do next, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I should have a comment there as well. I, I have been forgetting to do that. I'm sorry about that. But I should have a comment there with all the weapons we already have complete. So make sure you check that out before leaving your suggestion so we don't get any repeats. Also, I've been having a lot of people ask me what my operator is. I use this Mason operator from the season six battle pass here in Cold War. I don't think there's any other way to get it now. Uh, this was the tier 100 skin. Oh, I actually have this unlocked, so I'm gonna use that. But uh, this was the tier 100 skin from that battle pass, and I don't think it's available anymore. They have re-released some things in bundles in the shop from old battle passes, but I don't think they're re-releasing uh, tier 100 skins, so I apologize. Anyways, uh, here's our DMR. We're gonna be using the Copa Red Dot. The Socom Eliminator, the Task Force Barrel, the Mounted Flashlight. I would use the Ember Sighting Point, but we don't got it unlocked yet. Uh, Bruiser Grip, 35 Round Mag, Speed Tape, and the SAS Combat Stock. In our Camo Progress here, we have 1,400 kills out of 2,500. We have 857 crits out of 2,500. We have 1,029 kills out of 2,500 Pack-a-Punch kills. Vintage is done, Fauna's done, Topo is just about done, and we're still yet to unlock Infection and complete it. And we're going to be hopping in with Ring of Fire. I'm sure we'll be fine just using Ring of Fire the whole time, but if it ends up, you know, us getting messed up, we'll probably switch to Tesla Storm or something like that, but I'm sure Ring of Fire will be fine. Anyways, let's hop on Firebase C and see what we can do. All right, here we go. Driving on in with the twin. Got the new drip on. It has been quite a bit since I've used the DMR last time. I think we've used this against Orta before, and I don't remember how it did. We're getting this thing leveled up earlier on stream, and it seemed to be doing, like, quite a bit of damage to some of, like, the Outbreak bosses and, like, certain events. So I'm thinking this might do well against Orta, but I guess only time will tell. And also, if you want to know when we live stream, you can go ahead, join our Discord. It's public. Uh, the link should be in the description below. Uh, you'll get notified every time we post a video. We go live on either Twitch or YouTube. Uh, you'll get notifications for anything that I tweet, put on Instagram, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, the link is down below. All right. And I think we have enough cash to move on. Now, I'm pretty sure the DMR is one of the weakest tactical rifles out there, you know, besides the Type 63, because they're... All the attack rifles are just really, really good. The the carves good. The M16s good. The augs good. I think all those burst weapons just tear cheeks and zombies. And then when you have to switch to something that's semi-auto, even though you control the fire rate, it does not hit the same. But there's our bloodshed camo. We got 1,500 kills of this thing now. I guess we'll see once we get this thing like pack a punch uh tiered up and we have a ring of fire going with it I'm, I'm sure it'll be a different story oh you know what i haven't done in a long time i don't know how i've been forgetting to do this we gotta grind the rail yeah and we got the crit right after let's start up the reactor and there's our sunder camo three crits rapidly what we'd like to see and the reactor is done on to the next one wait what how did i just unlock that car calling card I've played Firebase C quite a bit. There's no way that was only my 25th reactor. Let's start up the next one. But that reactor is now done. And we got one more to go. But before that, we got to grind this rail. Oh, no. I feel like always my first time back to these rails are not good. And there we go. Second attempt, we'll take it. And the third reactor is done. Now let's go ahead and pack a punch our DMR. Can't quite do anything else with it yet. But this is what the DMR looks like. Pack a punch one. Absolutely awful. I hate this first pack a punch camo. It's probably the worst pack a punch camo out there. Very gross. But we have like one zombie left in this round. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do our little bunny Easter egg. Come here, bunny. We don't got that much time, pal. Come here. Come on. Thank you. Ooh, get it. And we're on to our last bunny. Zombies. We get taken out first. Actually, this mimic's kind of scary. Get the bunny. There we go. Mimic let go of me. Disappear into the aether. Yeah, bitch. What do we got? Ray K, perhaps? Uh, nope. That looks like a uh, stoner, I think. Yep. All right, let's just hold out. Survive the round and we'll buy a few perks after. And first one's going to be dead shot because I am missing all of these crits. And there's our assault wave. So far, we've been able to get all of our essential perks, basically, except for PhD. Not that essential, but I like being able to slide and use explosive if we need to. But we got our gun all the way up to blue, our armor level three. Uh, we did pretty well. And I think we're good to go ahead and sit in kernels now. Oh, actually, I am missing one thing. I don't have uh, ammo mod on this. I'm going to throw on cryo. There's cryo. What's going on, zombies? I'm glad I could make it just in time to stop you guys from hitting this. This thing's kind of nasty when the zombies are in a single file line. Like right here. Get quite a few crits. Ooh. This thing's dirty. I gotta frantically aim around. It's not that great, but right there, pretty nice. What's up, Mimic? Oh, Mimic, sorry. Excuse me. 
I need you guys to go. And I need to grind up enough points for pack two. Because after this round, I'm turning on the Rampage Inducer. We'll see how the DMR can fare in the Rampage Inducer. I'm sure it'll be all right. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Now tell me why wood is the whole superstitious material to knock on. Why isn't it like knock on, I don't know, steel, carbon fiber? Why does it got to be wood? Hmm? Somebody tell me. Anyways, let's get this thing packed too. Take a quick peek at it. There it is. DMR pack two. Not that bad. The coverage on it, pretty decent actually. So hopefully Dark Aether looks just as good on it. But anyways, I'm turning on the Rampage Inducer. Hopefully I can survive. And now we're home sweet home. You're in Kernels. It's going to look like some free and easy crits to me. Except for when I have to reload. Speed Cola feels like it does nothing in this game, but speed up like putting barricades on and spinning the box. It doesn't even feel that much faster getting your field upgrade. The reload is just still abnormally slow, especially if it's like a full reload. Like that was your last bullet in the mag. Speed Cola just feels so much faster in older zombies games. It actually feels like necessary. In this game, you could probably take it or leave it. Oh, there's our drench camo. 1500 kills while it's pack a punch. Let's go. And so far, so good. We're, we're surviving here with the rampage inducer on. Honestly, current current evaluation of the DMR, it kind of feels inaccurate. Even with Deadshot. Uh, if, if I can find something, I'll... Like if I, I see an example, I'll show you what I mean. But it seems like when zombies are kind of sprinting erratically, like this one coming at me right there, I don't know if it was just locking onto a zombie behind it or if it's just completely missing or the zombie's moving its head too much for me to be able to hit it with like a one-shot weapon or a one bullet per trigger pull weapon. But we have enough to pack a punch. Let's go get pack three. There we go. And this is what pack punch three looks like on the DMR. Very nice. One of the cooler looking pack a bunch camos. It goes from worst to best on this map between pack three and pack one, pack three beautiful can we upgrade anything while we're here nope we might as well grab phd and let's make our way back to kernels also let me just say this gun's reserve ammo absolutely absurd 520 bullets reserved with 52 in the mag this gun just has a metric ass ton of ammo for no reason you don't even be shooting it that much oh and we have a nice little salt wave coming good thing it's a nearby one mimic is that you come on dude who are you fooling another mimic yep Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go repair my armor. Actually, he already just gave me enough. There's no point to repair it. Oh, there's our threshold camo, finally. We're at 1,500 crits. Just need a whole thousand more. So we're at 1,646 crits will be done. All right, zombies. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why don't we just chill for a second here? Mangler, you especially, big fella. Get the fuck back. Oh, and now we got a mimic coming. All right, pal. Sit down. And we finally got this thing to level 50. We can start getting our Jackrabbit medals now. As long as we're not getting destroyed back here. And there's our Corrosion. We already got a Jackrabbit camo. Let's go. We got one zombie left in the round. Let's go see if we can upgrade. I think we can. We should be able to at least get to purple. Maybe not all the way to gold, but let's check. Yeah, purple. And we're halfway to gold. But we can repair our armor and head on back. There's our Entropathy camo. Moving up on those Jackrabbits. And there's our Rotten camo. All done with normal kills. We are so far ahead of normal kills than we are of crits. Jeez. And there's Contamination. I think we got one more to go there. And we are all done with our Jackrabbits. The sooner we finish it, the better. Because it's only getting more difficult here. There's our Glitch. Okay, now we have one more Jackrabbit camo to get. Always forget about Glitch. There's Conviction. All right, now we're done with Jackrabbits. Those are all out of the way. Those camos are usually pretty fast. And so is this death. Never mind. I'm fighting through it. I'm a champion. It, right there, it was extremely inaccurate. When that zombie was standing right by the wall, it, it was like it was like outlining him. And I'm always just tapping my left trigger. That way it just auto walks like to their dome with that shot. And it's just like going around him now. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know if it's the DMR, if they tweak that shot or what's going on here. Oh, jeez. Armored zombies coming in here and manglers. This thing's starting to not be able to keep up very much. We got to leave. We got to leave. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. We're starting to use decoys like every round. I've been using them for like the last few rounds. Every time I needed to reload, but now it's like mandatory. Let me get these things in here. I should probably upgrade this thing to gold the first chance that I get. It'll be right around when the assault wave starts. Oh, there's our chemical camel. We're all done with pack a bunch kills. All that's left is our crits now. Hopefully we can keep at it. So far, we're not doing that awful. I think we're about like 400 away. Oh, Mimic, get the fuck out of here. And are we going to get Orta right after this Mangler, perhaps? Mangler, get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. See you later. Zombies, you can go with him. And we do get Orta. Let's go. All right, let's go upgrade this thing and then head on over to the beach. All right, we got it to gold. It's fully back a punch. Doing as much damage as we can with it. Let's see how it does against Orta. 
We will need to kill a few zombies here. I'll probably end up nading them to get my ring of fire to see it's like full, full potential. But we're basically all set up. Come on down, Orta. Time for your weekly ass kicking. Go ahead, spawn. Idiot. Okay, so I was doing 1,200, 1,300, 1,400 per shot, which is not bad. Our semi-auto rifle. We already got a little bit of his health down. So 1,900, 1,200 now or 2,000. All right, let's nade these zombies. Oh, of course. Mangler gonna fuck my thing up. Okay, now we got a ring of fire. What is this ring of fire doing against them? 4,000 damage per shot up to 5,000. How high does it go? 5,220. That is very good damage. That is per bullet damage. Look at his health. It's already gone. Already gone. Or to get the fuck out of here. Go away. You're done. And he's dead. Oh, and I got away without getting knocked. Oh, never mind. Well, I don't know what knocked me down there, but... Not a big fan of it. Either way, Aura got fucking slapped. I'm grabbing cashmeres because I need to head back to spawn and get some uh, get some perks back. I could have also bought a uh, self-revive there, but I just was not thinking. All right, I'm grabbing one here. Oh my God, I almost had to use it immediately. Okay, cashmere down, cashmere down. We are now 100% safe. And I can grab everything back. I will not be grabbing elemental pot, but I think tombstone can come in handy now. If we ever end up going down, uh, we can tombstone to go get our shit back. I've also had somebody say recently that like asking why I didn't use tombstone and, and then I use my self revive to get myself back up. And they stated that I wouldn't lose my perks using tombstone, but I'm pretty sure that part of uh, tombstone has been bugged since its release. Where even if you go down and you like go to revive yourself with it, also insane movement that mimic had to fuck it up. But even if you go down and revive yourself with your tombstone shadow, you still lose the same amount of perks if you were to just revive yourself with a quick revive. I just use whichever is faster or easier, or I think that is like the safest. And most of the time it is just self revive or quick revive up. Tombstone's just there just in case I need it. Cause we've had like a few times now where we've gotten down right here and then all the zombies run so far away it's impossible to crawl to to go and get those kills. This could be the round we get out of here. We're only about a hundred something away. Just gotta keep these crits up. We're not doing too bad. Okay, maybe that wasn't the round, but we're close to it. We'll be out of here this round for sure. Oh, damn it. Well, went down with the ring of fire open, so we got to keep using it. Hopefully, we can finish our camo challenges before we die here. We have some decoys to work with. It shouldn't be too bad. As long as we can keep the zombies away and the manglers at bay. Okay, I'm all out of decoys, so I need to run. I'm out of here. Yeah, we're at 1,611. We just need like 50 more crits. I'm not even going back for our perks. No going back for the perks. We're staying here and we're getting it done. Hey, there's a decoy on the ground. That works. I'll take it. Come on. This should be it right here. Nope, 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 nope. I'm leaving. Goodbye, zombies. You don't need to hit me. I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. We got about 17 there. We just need to do that 45 more times. Honestly, let's Semtex a few. We have a ring of fire. And now let's try to survive. Mimic, get out of here. Other Mimic, you can leave as well. Invitation extends to you. Rest these zombies, please. Bring them crits here. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Let's go. We did it. Oof, that's close. There's our banished camo. All done with our crits. Just barely making it out. That was our first down up here. Took until round 37 to go down up here, but... I, oh, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. Oh, what's up, Mimic? Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to let this mangler that's trapped be the honors of the last zombie alive because there's no x for the next few rounds and I'm not staying for him. I'm taking myself out. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Now we just got to wait and bleed out. I guess in the meantime, we can check our stats. That's 2,200 eliminations, 1,653 crits, and three downs. One of them self-inflicted. The other two, not so much. All right, now that that's over with, let's take a look at these camos on the DMR. Here's Gold Viper. Not that bad. It does have some wear on it. I don't understand when they put wear on mastery camos or don't give you the option to choose what kind of wear you want on it. Like if I want my shit scratched, I'll say, hey, make it scratched. If I don't, I don't. But... There's Gold Viper, not that bad. Coverage is good. Plague Diamond, very nice. The whole thing studded out. Plague Diamond, there's never any problems with the coverage on this. I'd be hard pressed to find a weapon that looks bad with it. And Dark Aether, I'm still having this bug. I don't know if you guys are having the same thing, but at an angle, you can see all the nice, like, light purple, it, just pink-ish looking shit on the DMR, but then you, when you face it towards you, all void, all black. Why? Why is that a thing? I just want to see my camo, dude. And I'm pretty sure it's... It had to have happened in an update or something because it didn't used to be like this and there's not really any graphic settings I can change here on my PlayStation. But that's Dark Aether on it. Doesn't look too bad when you got the right angle. So let's go ahead, hop in game and see if it looks any different there.
All right, this is what the DMR looks like in game with Dark Aether. Uh, I'm not really seeing too much of the void bug here. That was only one inspect, so maybe it's different. Uh, a little bit, but not too bad. The coverage on it's great. Uh, I really like the separation between the metal secondary color, the, the matte black, and the Dark Aether. I think it looks pretty good. It's very balanced, unlike some other weapons. But this is not too shabby. Ooh, we're getting a nice big blotch of purple here. Let's look at it. Ah, uh, clean weapon. One more time. Beautiful. But there you have it. We got the DMR done. We are all done with tack rifles. I think we've also completed shotguns too. So we have two classes with every weapon completely dark aether. So make sure you leave your suggestions below. Remind me if I haven't put the comment there. Yell at me for it. I'll do it. But that's going to be where I end today's video. So if you guys like this and want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, we can start to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.